Francis Villa long-term care bed, uh, home, working with St. Joseph's Healthcare and Hamilton Health Sciences, and $25 million for Hamilton Health Sciences to expand their life-saving stem cell treatments. Before I hand uh, things over to Minister Fideli, I know there are a lot of people in this area who are looking forward to the motorcycle rally in, in Port Dover tomorrow, the Friday the 13th, thousands of, of bikers go there. But folks, we, we, we just can't have thousands of people getting together right now. And it's just way, way too risky. Because right now, we're seeing the numbers all over the world, all over Canada, and right here in Ontario, they're climbing. And they're going in the wrong direction. It's concerning, it's alarming, and we have to stay on high alert. My friends, I'm asking people to be responsible. We've now learned that eight six sick people all attended two separate weddings. No one is immune to this virus. What seemed like just a small chance to see friends and family led to 17 confirmed cases. Now folks, when we, when we do the contact tracing and follow up, some of these people have been in contact with 50 people do the math, you know, that, that's, that's uh, 850 people, then those people. So that, that's why we're concerned. Even though it's small, it just spreads. This is how the virus spreads when we don't follow simple pel, uh, public health advice. We've implemented new protocols to keep people safe, protocols that allow us to celebrate life's special moments like weddings, but they depend on each of us doing our part. If you're sick, Please stay at home and get tested. Keep two meters apart, wear a mask, and please don't gather in large groups. And my friends, I know that we're all tired of this pandemic. I see it, it's, it's pandemic fit, fatigue out there. But we need to stay strong. We need to stick together. And that's how we'll get through this, by sticking together. Thank you, and God bless the people of Ontario. Now I'll hand it over to Minister Fideli. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you, Premier. And thank you to everyone at Heddle Shipyards for hosting this event. It's great to be here for this very exciting announcement. You know, we have one of the best advanced manufacturing sectors in the entire world, and this new investment by Heddle will strengthen that even further. We were so proud that Ontario was chosen for this project. Since the beginning of this pandemic, Ontario's manufacturers stepped up like never before, demonstrating the best of the Ontario spirit. Heddle Shipyards is a great example of this with their participation in the new initiative by the Canadian manufacturers and exporters. Just a few months ago, we teamed up with the CME to launch the Ontario Made program. Ontario Made promotes the many products that are made all across Ontario and celebrates our world-class manufacturing sector. And to have a manufacturer with a long history of Heddle Shipyards join Ontario Made is indeed a credit to this program. So the same label that is seen on products that range from baby wipes to barbecues, from cosmetics to cars, will now also soon be seen on ships. Our manufacturing sector has never been more important. At the outset of this pandemic, manufacturers stepped up with their innovative ideas and retooled their production lines to produce PPE for our frontline workers and other essential supplies in our greatest time of need. And our manufacturing sector will continue to be essential to combating COVID-19 and to our economic recovery. You know, employment in Ontario increased by 30,600 in October, marking the fifth straight month of overall employment gains. Over 886,000 jobs have returned since June, and that includes 11,500 more men and women now, this morning, working in manufacturing than before COVID began. Our economy is continuing to stabilize, but there still is more work for us to do attracting significant new investments from companies like Heddle Shipyards not only creates new jobs for the people of Ontario, it also enriches our province's advanced manufacturing sector.
congratulations to everyone at Heddle Shipyards on this great announcement. Thank you, and I'll now pass it over to Minister Phillips. Good afternoon. Thank you, Vic. It is great to be here in Hamilton with my colleagues, Premier Ford, Minister Fidelli, and of course, MPP Donna Scully. I'd also like to thank Sean Padulo, the president here at Heddle, and Mayor Eisenberg for showing us uh, a, good, uh, a good reception here at this, uh, this great event. On Thursday, I introduced Ontario's 2020 budget, the next phase of our government's response to COVID-19. Ontario's action plan, protect, support, recover. Our plan has three pillars. First, we're protecting people from the deadly virus by increasing our health investments to $15.2 billion. Second, we're building on our earlier relief to provide a total of $13.5 billion in direct support for families, workers, and employers, in addition to $11.3 billion in cash flow support. And third, we're removing barriers to recovery and providing $4.8 billion to protect and create jobs now and in the future. This next phase of Ontario's action plan brings our total COVID-19 response to $45 billion. We need to start working on recovery now while protecting and creating jobs today. Failing to act makes it tougher for great employers like Heddle Shipyards to create jobs, and it would mean other employers may overlook Ontario when choosing somewhere to do business. Our comprehensive plan to reduce Ontario's job-killing electricity prices is just one example of how we're protecting and creating jobs now and in the future. Time and time again, we've heard from employers considering Ontario as a place to invest or expand their business, but who decided to go somewhere else because our province's electricity costs are just too high. The problem is the result of unnecessary contracts signed by the previous governments as part of the Green Energy Act for electricity that Ontario did not need at prices that employers could not afford. A small number of people did very well from those questionable contracts, but the rest of us were left to pay the bills. For example, the price of electricity for commercial businesses increased by 118% between 2008 and 2019. That's more than five times the rate of inflation, and that's just too high. In Ontario's action plan, Protect, Support and Recover, we outline our plan to responsibly wind down these high contracts once and for all. Removing these costs from electricity bills will save industrial and commercial employers 14 to 16% respectively starting this January. For a mid-sized manufacturer in Hamilton, the savings would be nearly 32,000 per month or 382,000 annually. And for a manufacturer the size of Heddle, it would be many, many times that. As a result of our comprehensive plan, Ontario will go from being one of the least competitive jurisdictions to, in the cost of electricity to one of the most competitive. Better than the US average and better than most of the Great Lakes states that we compete with for manufacturing and commercial jobs. In addition to reducing, we've been reducing property taxes for our job creators, including a 25% cut for this shipyard. We're not waiting to act. COVID-19 continues to cause uncertainty, the global economy, we will continue to provide support now and in the future. And now it's my real pleasure to introduce the CEO of Heddle Shipyards, Sean Perullo. Sean. Good afternoon, everyone.